Now we will learn the regulation of cholesterol synthesis in this video. There was a step in cholesterol synthesis where a 6 carbon compound HMG-CoA was produced. HMG-CoA was reduced to mevalonate by the enzyme HMG-CoA reductase. This is the rate limiting step and HMG-CoA reductase is the rate limiting enzyme of cholesterol synthesis. It regulates the whole process of cholesterol synthesis by different kinds of metabolic controls. One of them is cholesterol dependent regulation of gene expression. So HMG-CoA reductase is a protein, every enzyme is a protein and there is a transcription factor for every protein. The transcription factor for HMG-CoA reductase is sterol regulatory element binding protein SREBP2. SREBP2 is an integral part of the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum. It is present in endoplasmic reticulum in association with SCAP protein in the form of SREBP2 SCAP complex. The SCAP protein detects changes in cholesterol in the cell. When cholesterol levels in the cell are low, this complex moves out of the endoplasmic reticulum and goes to the Golgi. In the Golgi, the proteases act upon this complex and separate the two proteins. The transcription factor SREBP2 enters the nucleus where the sterol regulatory element of SREBP2 binds to the nucleus and the normal process of protein synthesis starts. Transcription produces messenger RNA inside the nucleus and the process of translation produces our desired protein HMG-CoA reductase in the cytoplasm. Increased HMG-CoA reductase will result in increased cholesterol synthesis. On the other hand, if cholesterols are abundant in the cell, the sterol sensing domain of SCAP protein induces its binding to another protein of endoplasmic reticulum which is called INSIG protein. The INSIG protein retains this SREBP2 SCAP complex in endoplasmic reticulum and prevent its delivery to the Golgi, thus preventing the activation of SREBP2 and leading to down regulation of cholesterol synthesis. When cholesterol levels in the cell are high, the INSIG proteins also bind to HMG-CoA reductase, leading to its degradation and further down regulating the cholesterol synthesis. Another method of regulation of cholesterol synthesis is the availability of ATP. The enzyme HMG-CoA reductase is inactive when phosphorylated, whereas the dephosphorylated form is active. During high energy states, more HMG-CoA reductase is present in dephosphorylated form and more cholesterol is synthesized. There are some hormones which play important role in phosphorylation and dephosphorylation of HMG-CoA reductase. Insulin and thyroxine increase cholesterol synthesis by enhancing the dephosphorylation of HMG-CoA reductase. Whereas glucagon and glucocorticoids favor the formation of inactive HMG-CoA reductase that is the phosphorylated form. The last metabolic control for the regulation of cholesterol synthesis is drugs. Statins like atrovastatin, fluvastatin, lovastatin, etc. are the structural analog and competitive inhibitors of HMG-CoA reductase. They are used to decrease plasma cholesterol levels in patients with hypercholesterolemia. Fasting also reduces the activity of HMG-CoA reductase. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you so much.